Welcome back. I'm the Doc Bob Lee from 107.5 in Bronx Nets Open. Our next guest, our steering committee members of Community Board 4. And he joined us to speak about the, the Jerome Avenue Revitalization Collaborative and how it's seeking to create inclusive economic growth and sustainability for a community impacted by neighborhood rezoning. You know, that's never really too cool. Welcome to the show, Paul Phelps and Tiarina Ana Sanchez. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for having us. Yes, thank yeah. you. We really appreciate you having us. So you guys be have been around doing some great things for some time now, right? But uh, you're opening this up. Tell us about it. That's right. Um, so, so thank you again for, for having us. We are so, so excited. We're thrilled to be launching the Jerome Avenue Revitalization Collaborative, which as you said, was born out of the Jerome Avenue rezoning, the largest in New York City's history. The largest rezoning in New York City's history happened right here in the Bronx. It spanned three community districts, Community Board 4, Community Board 5, and Community Board 7, and it was 93 blocks. So as we yeah. were as a community uh, negotiating and having conversations about this rezoning, we that was where the idea was born to have the Jerome Avenue Revitalization Collaborative yeah. that would be driving inclusive growth. Yeah, and what neighborhoods, uh, this includes how many, what neighborhoods, Paul? Uh, so we have, so we have East Concourse, the Grand Concourse, it includes High Bridge, Mount Hope, Farina, help me out on board five. I'm the, I'm the DM for board four, so I know mine by heart. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. So that's four. And then in five, we have uh, Morris Heights, uh, University Heights, getting all the way up to Fordham Road. Now, how cool is that to have all of these communities moving together in the same direction for a common cause? I mean, it, it's fantastic. I mean, we have been working on this for over two years, and I just had a conversation with someone this morning. What I love about this is that this is uh -huh. organic. Everyone is doing this out of their love and passion for the work that we do. Everyone else has full-time jobs doing something else, but this is something that everybody really believes in and thinks that is important. So that's why we've been working so hard to get this up and running and why we're so excited that it's going to be launching in just two weeks. Now... Carolina, you've been working with the Obama administration and also the mayor's office. So you have some great experience in putting a lot of this stuff together and working with wonderful people in the community. Yeah, no, th thank you. That's that's right. I mean, I think for, for me, one of the biggest takeaways that I've had in, in the many experiences that I've had is the importance of partnerships, is the importance of community and empowering all of the players at the table. So in the in the JARC, as we call it, JARC, we got to launch a JARC. Oh, watch out. <laughs> She's been practicing that. She's been know, practicing that. Yeah, that. She has, she has, she has. A dance and everything ready to go. <laughs> yes, yes. Really excited. Do your dance. Do your dance. It, it, it goes like this. It goes, we gonna launch a jerk. We gonna launch a jerk. <laughs> 80, 80 community organizations are a part of this collaborative. And it's it's really incredible to see us come together like this for the, uh, the common cause. So Paul, shock week. Dark week, yes. So we are so we are doing our soft launch. We'll be social media next week. Uh, so you can find us on uh, Facebook at facebook.com uh -huh. forward slash JarkBX. You can find us on uh, Instagram at JarkBX, JeromeAvenue.org, and you can also email us at JarkBX at gmail.com. And in the week of the 22nd, we have three great events. The first is going to be on Tuesday, February 23rd at 10 uh -huh. a.m. That's the JARC uh, Stakeholder Town Hall. The second event is going to be a, pay, a PPP program, Payroll Protection Program Panel. Um, and that's going to be Wednesday, February 24th at 10 a.m. And then, drum roll, please, the creme de la creme is the Bronx Borough President Candidate Forum. And that's going to be Thursday, February 25th at 6 p.m. And uh -huh. everything that we're doing is really focused on our core missions, which is really about inclusive economic growth. So we're really looking at our core competencies, which are employer-facing job placement, um, uh -huh. business research and service hubs, and then grants for low-income residents along the corridor. So every and those are our three core competencies uh, that really uh, drive into our mission. And how you guys, how are you guys preparing for this? Uh, we are having multiple, this is uh, probably the, it's Thursday, I've seen Perinia probably 10 times already this week. <laughs> we are doing prep meetings, we're meeting with the steering committee, we're looking, we're assigning tasks uh, for each and every event down to people muting the buttons at Zoom, so we are working fast and furious to get everything up and running. 
Um, but it's been fantastic. Everybody is really rolling up their sleeves and they're, we're getting it done. I said shark week, but you knew exactly what I was talking about. I knew, I knew what you meant. We kind of, <laughs> I kind of played on it. I, you know, we, I was like, you know, they have a shark week. We're going to do a jark week. Yeah, we played with it. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> That's great. Man. Seems like you guys work well together. And we do. Uh, you we, guys we do. working we, well together. Same we here. do. I mean, so for, so we have a little bit of history. So Perina was a board member at Board 5. So we actually worked together um, on the recommendations, the community board recommendations for the very end of the EULA process for the board. So we worked very closely together. I know her from RPA. Uh, we have a great rapport. She is fantastic as a community resident, super smart, super personable, fantastic. And I, I enjoy working with her greatly. Wow. Seems like she's going to be running for something soon. <laughs> I, I i have to say that that all of those things apply to paul and uh you are you are just so incredible to work with uh all of these years since the rezoning and, yeah. and you know we have partners from bronx community college we have partners from wedco there's 15 members on the steering committee and it's it's just i call it the dream team because it's so many uh, people who just really care and they're awesome folks oh they would love for you to mention their names who are they <laughs> Sure. Th let, let's see a, a pop quiz as I think through this. So, so community boards four and five, we have the SOBRO, uh, B-O-E-D-C, the Bronx Overall Economic Development Corporation. We have uh, WEDCO, as I mentioned, Davidson Community Center. Uh, we have the BJT Bronx Merchant Association, which is Burnside Jerome Tremont Merchant Association. We have Meta Bronx. We have Bronx Cooperative Development In Initiative, uh, the United Auto Merchants Association, and the HOPE program. Oh, wait, wait, one more. Of course, the Bronx Chamber of Commerce. Yes. There you go. You got everybody <laughs> in there? <laughs> I, I think so. I think so. Shout out to all of the partners. It's it's amazing to, to work with you all. Yeah. And then you have some people, some individuals working with you to help make it happen. Exactly. With exactly. Yes, so so we're working with Jobs First, uh, who has been incubating us, um, and actually the the staff member who's been with us since the beginning was Diana Torres. Uh, this is she was born and raised in this community as well, so she really you know held our hands as as we kind of brought all the partners together, mm -hmm. um, and and has really driven us to to this point where we are today. Paul, you're from Queens, right? I am, I'm, but I'm a raised in Queens, but I've been in the Bronx now for ten years, so. Um, I know You're the Bronx neighborhood side. well. I actually live in the district um, and live in the area now for 10 years. So I know the neighborhood well. And I think for me, so one of the things that's really great about this is that I used to work at the Department of City Planning. So I was, I was so this sort of incubated there. I started on that side. And then the great part was really yeah. coming over to the board in 2016 to help them kind of finish, finish it off and making sure that the community and the board really put forth recommendations that benefited other residents short term and long term. Sounds like great harmony in action. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, I'm from Queens too. That's why I mentioned that and I just saw oh, what part? it what popped part? up on my screen, the screen that you were from Queens. And, but you know, we, we're in the Bronx so much that we're like Bronxites. It's okay. Exa exactly. It's, it's like, it's, you know, it's, it's kind of a second nature for me. So yeah, yeah. I welcome you. We welcome you. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, speak more about the Borough Presidents uh, Forum and the, the events that are coming up. Um, so, so the events that are coming up. So the first event is really, it's an opportunity for us to really, as a partnership. Now, again, we have all been working together as a group, you know, the steering committee and the 70, the 70 plus members of JARC, but no one really knows who we are. So this is an opportunity for us to, for people to know who we are, to showcase some of the work that we've done. And even though we're formally launching in two weeks, we have been doing a lot of this work. We've been doing the training. A lot of our partners have been doing a lot of work, particularly during COVID on the PPP side. Uh, you know, we've been, Perinia and a, a group of very smart, uh, talented and very dedicated people have been working to make sure that banking was important and stayed along the Burnside corridor, which is really important. Uh, and then education and training. So we've been doing all those things. So it's an opportunity for us to showcase all of our partners, all the talent that we have across the board and really show our dedication and also show what we can bring to the community at large. That's both for small businesses as well as for residents. Um, and then the second event, as I said, is focused on the PPP. And that's really important. You know, I think as everybody knows, we were the last in terms of the boroughs in terms of percentage and the money that was released to us in terms of PPP. Yeah. And that really, you know, from our perspective is kind of shameful. So we really need to work harder to make sure that our small businesses are getting a larger piece of the pie. 
Um, you know, we've been devastated by COVID. So we are really working hard to make sure that our small businesses and small business owners uh, know how to apply for PPP and that they're getting their fair share. Uh, and then the last one, the borough president town hall is really important because whoever decides to be the next borough president, uh, they're gonna have a they have a they have a they have a large task at hand. So the work cut out for them. We want to talk to them and see, yeah, exactly. So we want to talk to them to see. So you know, we're about inclusive economic growth. You know, we know that unemployment is extremely high. Small businesses are closing. So what are your plans to work with our organization? Help small businesses. How are you going to help unemployment? Where are you going to focus industry-wise, and what might you be doing in terms of funding or programming to help uh, not only small businesses but area residents get back on their feet? That's great, man. We love what you guys are doing. You know, you're always welcome to come back here and share. Thank you. Thank we you are, so we much. greatly appreciate it. Uh, we're we're very excited. Uh, we want people to come and learn about. You know, again, you know, they can definitely go to our website, uh, jarkbx.com. They can find us on Facebook. Instagram, Twitter. I'm not a tweeter, but you can tweet us. Someone else will be doing it. Um, but we uh, we encourage people to email us, find out about the organization. Um, there's a lot to really learn. I think we're bringing a lot to the table. And as Farina said when she did her little dance, we are <laughs> really, really, really excited. We've been working for two plus years on this, and we're now about to like we're now about to, to launch this uh, great initiative. So we're super excited. Well, we love what you guys are doing. The Jerome Avenue Revitalization Collaborative Week and Jock Week. I'm going to say Shark Jark Week. Week, yes. Yeah, Jock <laughs> Week in full effect Jark. going on right now. Karina, because she has that dance going. You're going to take us out with that dance. <laughs> We're going to launch the Jock. We're going to launch, launch the, the Jock. The jock. <laughs> <laughs> That's our exercise for the morning, but we have to continue this. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Thank you guys yes, so much. We do. We must. Karina, thank you so much. We love you guys. Thank you, Bob. We greatly appreciate you having us on the show. Uh, be safe and be well. We really appreciate it. You're always it. welcome. All right. Thank you. We'll Thank take you. a break right here, but the, stay tuned because I, I have somebody special coming up. His name is Bobby C. He has the latest in the world of sports. Next. <laughs>